Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can design this lab by using ETAP software. We can design this lab by using strip method or FEM method that is finite element method. So let's discuss both strip method as well as finite element method in ETAP software. So without further delay, let's begin. First, let's start off with the methods of design. There are two methods are available. One is strip method and another one is finite element method. As the name suggests, in strip method, we need to create the strips along the column faces as well as in the middle area of the column. And then we need to proceed the design of the slab. In finite element method, as we know, we need to divide the larger element into smaller parts called finite element and then we need to proceed the design process. Let's look into the strip method. If you take the slab layout like this, so these are your columns and you have the slabs over here. The area which is connecting four columns, in this area you will be having the slab. So this you have to design. Okay. So here let's see in strip method how we need to divide the strip. Look into this, this is the column strip. So this distance from the center of the column to the edge of the column strip that is L by 4. Here L is the shorter direction of the slab, shorter dimension of the slab. And then this one is the middle strip. And again, you will be having the column strip over here. So this is your total column strip. And then you will be getting the middle strip. And again, you will be getting the column strip. So in this way, you have to divide your strip to design the slab by using the strip method. So this you have to remember this distance from the center of the column. You have to consider L by 4. L is the shorter direction of the shorter dimension of the slab. This is in the x direction. So in the x direction you have to divide like this. Next let's look into the y direction. In the y direction also you have to divide the strip in this way. A column strip has to come here and then middle strip and again column strip. So this distance has to be L by 4 and again L is the shorter dimension of the slab. And after column strip you have to divide the middle strip. So column strip, middle strip, column strip. So in this way you have to divide in the y direction as well in order to proceed the strip method of design. Next, let's look into the ETAPS model. I have modeled G plus 3 structure. If you want to know the details about basic detailing, you can look into our playlist ETAPS. In that, uh, there will be uh, basic details like how we can model the column, how we can model the beam, how we can model the grid uh, structure. Everything has been explained over there. I'll be providing you the link in the description box. If you want, you can check into that. Now let's see the material definition, go to define and then material properties. I have defined the material as M25. If you just click on this modify and show material, the details will be here. Similarly, go to section properties under frame section. I have taken the beam size as 300 by 400 and column size is 300 by 300. And next let's look into the section properties slab section. So slab I have taken the size as S130 that is 130 mm thickness slab then Q. Now we know the member properties and all. Next let's look into the loads. If we go to loads and then click on the load pattern. I have defined dead load, live load and floor finish load, main wall load, partition wall load, parapet wall load. In ETAPS these all loads needs to be provided under the type of super dead load and then give OK. Now let's add the design strips. So to do that we need to go to edit and then here add or edit design strips. Click on this add design strip and in this one it will ask you the tower let it be T1 and then story it will ask you we have ground floor, first floor, second floor and third floor. I am going to select the second floor as my story. I am going to design the second floor slab now. So that's why I have selected this one and then you have to give the option as add design strip along Cartesian grid lines. You will be having the grid line so along the grid line you need to add the design strips and we have to include the middle strip as well. You need to check this box and then grid system is z1 grid direction is x direction so we are going to create the strip in the x direction now strip layer is a and auto give apply okay now you can see the strips next let's add the design strip in the y direction go to add design strips the story will be second floor and then grid system is G1. Here you have to include this middle strips and then grid direction let's select Y and then strip layer we have to select B. Click on apply 
and then okay now if you look into this layout you will be having the strips design strips in the x direction as well as in the y direction to get into the clear view you can go to this display option and then select strip layer a only here under uh, object present in view you have to select strip layer a if you want to see the both lay strip layer you can select both or else you can select only one layer and then go to other assignment click on this show width under design strip object click on this show width give apply and then okay you have the design strips this is column strip and this is middle strip and again this is column strip and this is middle strip if you want to look into the other layer just select this one also b strip layer b and go to other assignment click on this show width option apply ok now you will be having the design strip width in both directions you want to get the clear view in the b strip layer b just apply ok see this way you will be having the strip layer b column strip middle strip column strip middle strip and again column strip middle strip and column strip so in this way you have to add the design strip now let's do the analysis go to analyze and then click on check model select all so model has been checked we don't have any warning messages next let's go to the analyze and then we can do the run analysis analysis has been completed next we have to do the design of slab so before that we need to define the load combinations here i will show you the load combinations i have added the load combinations that is one time dead load plus live load and then 1.5 times dead load plus live load so only these two combinations we are going to take for this particular project analysis has been completed next let's move on to design so click on design under this you have to select concrete slab design here you have to select view revise preferences in this factor of safety for steel that is 1.15 and factor of safety for concrete is 1.5 design code you have to select as is 4562000 minimum cover for slab it is 15 mm and preferred bar size let's choose 10 mm dia bar and then slab type for minimum reinforcing let it be two way slab design code needs to be selected as is 4562000 give ok now after this we have to click on this concrete slab design and then here we need to select the stories for design let's select second floor give ok and after this we need to select the design load combination let's select this 1.5 times dead load plus live load as the load combination and then now let's start doing the design click on start design now the design has been completed just if you click on this you will be having the top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement this reinforcement area is given for meter width that is per mm if you look, look into this unit area per unit width okay so the unit is in uh, millimeter so that is why here it is given as millimeter square per mm so if you want to check the area for strip width you have to select here display flexural design and here design basis needs to be strip based and again rebar location top rebar as well as bottom rebar reinforcing display type we can select show total rebar area for strip and then let's select the uh, strip direction strip layer as a give apply ok see now it is in mm square the unit is in mm square that means it will show you only the area instead of per unit width it will show you only the area if you look into this the bottom we require the maximum of 203 m square as the reinforcing area and here if you check in the top you will be requiring 156 mm square so in this way you can get the reinforcement area next we can change the layer b go to display flexural design and here instead of layer a you can choose layer b and then give apply ok so it will show you the area for layer b see here if you hover into this you will be getting the area top and bottom so in this way you can get the area of the reinforcement even if you want to look into the number of bars that also you can get it from here see just select this one under reinforced display type show number of bars and sizes you can select bottom bar size is 10 mm dia bar initially we have chosen the 10 mm dia bar give apply and then ok see then it will show you the number of bars 
4 number of 10 mm diabar. Here you need 3 number of 10 mm diabar. So in this way you can get the number of bars. This is all about the strip based design. Next let's move on to FEM method. Go to concrete design and then display flexural design. Here you have to select finite element based. Instead of strip based you have to select finite element based and then Select contour averaging at nodes by object and then reinforcement direction and location let it be direction 1 that is for top bar and then click on apply ok. That will be giving you the contour like this. Rebar intensity is given as mm square per mm that is the area per unit width. Next again go to display flexural design here you can select direction 2 top rebar apply ok. So then it will change the direction to top rebar. See now the values has been changed in this contour here. Similarly you can check for the bottom rebar in direction 1. Give apply ok. So this is the bottom rebar for direction 1 and again you can even select the direction 2 bottom rebar apply ok. Here at the middle we require more reinforcement. So that's all about the FEM method. So in this way you can design the slab. So in ATAPS you can design the slab by using strip based method as well as finite element method. So friends I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box. If you really like the content hit the like button. Also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.